All right, last video. Let's put some finishing touches on this house or this cabin. Uh, there's a lot more we could do to this, but we're going to stick with this. And, you know, hopefully you've gained enough skills that you can get started doing some of these things on your own. All right. So um, I'm going to start with a quick little brick ledge around the bottom. Um, then we'll put some siding. I'm going to show you how to put window glazing on too. Let's do the window part first. We're not even going to bother with trim around the window, but that, that could be done as well. Um, I'm going to start with a rectangle tool here. Now you should have by now, actually, let me get out of this. You should have by now right clicked on this and clicked explode. And you can see in my case, it's already done because nothing can be exploded anymore. So it's important to do that for your roof surface and your walls in order for this part of the video to work. Okay. Um, let me do one other thing up here. Let me delete these lines here because they are extra. Okay. All right, let's make a quick window glazing. Go to your rectangle tool. We're gonna to start at the outside corner. Oop, I zoomed in too much. Let's start with the outside corner and go to the other outside corner, just like that. Now it's gonna fill it in with a, with a face initially, and that's okay. Um, it's really easy to change this. If you go to your paint bucket, and we are gonna choose our search menu. And if you scroll down, you will see one that says, where was it? Right here, glass and mirrors, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here, it's translucent, and you can see it's made a nice little window covering. I can do this window real quick too, just outside to outside, and then take the bucket and put the glazing on, and I think we, we have one on the side and in the back, and these are real easy to do. Once you do the first one, the second ones are really quick, and you'll notice that it, the uh, bucket tool remembers the last um, material that you used and therefore you don't have to keep selecting it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and close the glass and mirrors menu and let's put some coverings on the, some materials on the outside of our house. All right, let's start with brick. Now, you'll notice this has a brick ledge all the way around. I'm not gonna do the concrete ledge on top of it. I'm gonna just ignore that for this video just to keep things quick. But I do wanna mark 42 inches up. So I'm gonna to go to my tape measure tool, start at the bottom and just start moving up on the blue axis, 42 enter, okay? Do the same thing in front here, all the way up. You can actually snap it to that spot right there, but I'm gonna just type in 42, enter. And I'm gonna go here, straight up, 42, enter. And then the front, let me try to tip this a little bit. I'm gonna go up, keep it on the blue axis, 42, enter. And then one more right here. You'll see the other line actually pushed all the way through. You can use that as a marker, but I'm gonna just type in 42, enter. And then there's one other thing I wanna do. You'll see that the brick ledge actually wraps around to here. So what I am gonna do is start with my pencil tool and I'm gonna go from about where that brick ledge shows all the way up to that line I just made, okay? And go ahead and draw a line and then we're going to just continue that across keeping it green just like that you'll see why in a minute we're going to go all the way to the window like this okay uh, you might have to hit escape and then start again keep it on the red axis and let's continue let me get oriented here continue to this side again we're on the line tool keep it in the green axis now the red axis and then this will be weird because you're crossing behind the um, pillar and then finish to the corner of the chimney. Okay, so again, hopefully you made sure those were on the green and red axes. And at this point, you can go over here to display options and you can delete all guides because we don't need them anymore. We just wanted to draw the line so that we can pull the brick, brick ledge out. Okay, so let's start with the push pull tool and we're gonna pull it out. Let's go, uh, let's go two inches. 
enter. And then you can double click the rest of them, or you can just keep telling it two inches. And what it's doing is creating a little ledge all the way around, okay? Now um, I can give that ledge some material. So let's start with that. Let's go with the paint bucket and we're gonna go to, let's see, brick. It's on here somewhere, brick and cladding. There we go. Let's go with this one here. And you can see I'm just placing the brick colors on there. I'm actually gonna leave this colored gray because it kind of looks like a brick uh, cap on top of it, but I am gonna color that back piece. And then keep going around, get all the pieces that you just made. It's really simple once you get the line made. So that's starting to really look good. Um, and at the end, we can decide if we wanna do the chimney in brick, we can. You know, I'm going to go ahead and do it in brick, even though on the house here, it shows it not in brick. Um, I'm going to leave it in brick for now and then maybe decide to change that later. You can see it even leaves a trim on top just how you had it before, which is pretty nice. All right, let's put some siding on. Um, you can see I'm still in the siding, brick and siding menu. I like this one here, it's some vertical siding. And we're going to click up here and you'll notice there's a little spot there that kind of fades in and out. That's because there's two surfaces that are on the exact same spot. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna go around and get the rest of my siding. Okay. Get that little ledge there and a little corner. Those don't match up perfect, but that's okay. And that is it for the brick and siding. Let's turn it back around to the front. Um, I'm going to leave the trim as white. Oh, I don't like that this turn. That's weird. Let me see if I can turn that back to white. I'm particular about it, but if you want to leave it, you can. It's not going to hurt anything. Now, let me go to main colors. You know what I can do? There's a tool. It's actually, you should know about it. Um, there's a tool called the sample material. You can click on that and then click here and it'll change it back. And that, yeah, it leaves a little ledge in the back, but that's okay. It actually looks good. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put some roofing on this. So I'm going to go back to my search menu, uh, close colors, and we have roofing right here. I'm going to see what different roofs look like. I, I usually like this one here. Let's see. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Um, this one's usually good too. Let's go with this one. All right, and go around and click all your roof uh, covers. And there you have it. We've got a finished project. Uh, looks really good. Um, I like how it turned out. Uh, hopefully you do too. Hopefully you made it to all eight videos. And if so, you've learned a lot of skills about architecture using SketchUp. Uh, it's a very useful tool and hopefully you can apply it to your own projects. Good job.